It's me, Sam. Well, you know my name, but I want to know your name. What's your name? What is it? I can't quite hear you. You know what? Let's try this. I'll count to three, and then you call out your name as loud as you can. Can you do that? Let's try. You ready? One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> well, now I got it. What a great name. Well, welcome to my playroom. I've got so many things to show you. We're gonna have so much fun. If you feel like singing along, I'd love to hear you singing. La la la. And if you feel like dancing along, well, stand up and have a dance. And if you feel like playing along, well, let's play along together. Are you ready? You are? Great! Well, what are we waiting for? Here we go! Music can make you smile, so come and stay a while and play along with Sam. Hi there, I've got a challenge for you. Can you march on the spot? You're doing it! Well, try this. Can you jump up and down? Yeah! Well, can you do this? Can you skip? Wow! Well, I've got one more question. Can you do this? Can you dance? Yeah! Let's dance together! everyone. There's a sound inside this jar. What do you think it is? Well, I can hear something. It's squeaky. It's probably very loud. Can you help me guess what it is? Great! <coughs> wow! What's that? It's a, a what? A crying baby? That baby sounds really sad. What do you think it needs? If only there was a sound that could cheer it up. What do you think we can do? Well, we can maybe start with some gentle rocking, then a soothing shh. Shh. I think that worked. Well done. Oh, all the 
those soothing sounds have made ooh, me sleepy too. But I'll be back soon, so don't go away, because every day, ooh, I'm here to play. Hi everyone, it's me, Sam. I'm playing dress ups and pretending to be someone. Can you guess who I am? I sit on a throne and I sometimes have a long cloak and I wear a crown on my head. Who am I? You're right, I'm a king. Well done. Let's play dress ups together. The dress up box, so tell me, who am I? A dress up song that we can sing along, so tell me, who am I? I ride a horse and I dance a boot scoot with my hat and my cowboy boots, so tell me, who am I? Can you tell me, who am I? So, what is next in the dress up chest? So tell me, Some song that we can sing along, so tell me who am I? A magic wand and I love to sing, fly around with my fairy wings, so tell me who am I? Can you tell me who am I? Dressing up, there isn't anything that you can't be. An astronaut to a zebra. Sing along, so tell me, who am I? Tongue to press around a stethoscope, a doctor's bag and a long white coat. So tell me, who am I? Well, can you tell me, who am I? Who am I? Come on and tell me, who am I? Hi, me again. <laughs> you knew exactly what I was dressed as in that game of Who Am I? I was a cowboy and a fairy and a doctor. Well done! <laughs> well, I've got lots more songs and games. And make sure you join in the one minute dance party. What will the dance be? I'm gonna go and find out. See you soon. Hi there, it's me, Sam. And this is my drum. I use my drum to make rhythms. It's round, has a flat surface that you tap with a stick or with your hands. Would you like to play along too? Great! Now I wonder what you can use as a drum. Well, look what I have. These are my saucepans from my kitchen. If I turn them upside down, look. It's round, has a flat surface, just like a... That's right, a drum! Now I have my pots and pans and some wooden spoons. Maybe your mum and dad can help you use some of your pots and pans. It could be a pot like this one, or a plastic bowl. And you don't even have to go far. You can even use your own knees like this. Now you have your drums, I have my drums. Come play along with me. Well done! It's so much fun when we drum. But now we're done. But don't go away, because every day I'm here to play. I'm a one-man band. Rackers in my hands. I'm a one-man band. Playing all I can. I'm a one-man band. I'm a one-man band. I'm a one-man band. Symbols on my knees, I'm a one man band. Piano at my feet, I'm a one man band. I'm a one man band. And the bass drum goes boom boom as the beat goes on. And 
the guitar goes wah wah as they sing this song. And the trombone almost flies right out of my hand. I'm a one man band. I'm a one man band. And the trombone almost slides right out of my head. I'm a one man band. I'm a one man band. I'm a one man band. Maracas in my hand. I'm a one man band. Playing all I can. I'm a one man band. I'm a one man band. I'm a one man band. Hi everyone! It's time for the one minute dance party! Yeah! 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 Can you do the jellyfish? It goes like this. Oh, jellyfish, jellyfish. So are you ready? Are you set? It's the one minute dance party. And go! Jellyfish! Can you jellyfish like your arms? Jellyfish your legs! Now we're gonna go this way. And the other way. That's it, jellyfish dancing. Yeah, and jelly. Now jelly, jelly with your arms. Jelly with your legs. We're halfway there. Good work. Jellyfish. And jellyfish the other way. <laughs> and jellyfish. <laughs> Jellyfish! <laughs> Jellyfish this way. Jellyfish that way. Clap your hands like this. You did it! Yeah! <laughs> Jellyfish! Oh. Play along with Sam! Hi there. It's me, Sam. Feeling pretty excited about this shape here. It has four corners and four equal sides. Do you know the name of a shape with four corners and four equal sides? Yes, it's a square. Well, you can find squares in so many places. See some squares? Well, I'm going to go find some more, but don't go away because every day I'm here to play. Oh, mm, 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 mm. I love the sounds of food, but more importantly, I love eating food. Will you pretend to eat with me? Super! Now let's hear all the sounds of eating. Have you got your pretend apple? Let's take a bite. Oh, that's the sound of a crunchy apple. All right. Now I have my glass of water. Do you have yours? Let's take a drink. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, I was so thirsty. Well, that's the sound of drinking. Glug, 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 glug. And now for this big bowl of noodles. Grab your pretend fork and dig in. Oh, that's too hot. I better blow on it to cool it down. That's the sound of blowing on hot food. <sighs> food tastes and sounds so good, but I'm still hungry. I might need to find some real food to eat, but don't go away because every day I'm here to play. Mm. Get 
Gary. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. One big bowl of my spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. It's time for today's Letter of the Day! What will today's letter be? Do you know what today's letter is? That's right! It's the letter E! Now I know what an E sounds like in music. But what does the letter E sound like? Oh! E. Well I know lots of words that start with E. There's egg, there's Elegant, there's elephant. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. So many words that start with E. E, what an excellent letter. Greetings to you. Hey diddle diddle, it's time for the rhyming riddle. Guess the answer true from the rhyme I give to you. Shall we begin? See me up high in the sky. I go high? Then low. I come after the rain and put on a colourful show. Like red, yellow, pink, green and blue, you know. What am I? Yes, I'm a rainbow! I saw a beautiful sight right after the rain. Grey clouds they part and the sun shines again Red, yellow and green Purple, orange and blue Do you see it too? The colours so perfect and bright They light up the sky The horses they feed on their hay, the rabbits they jump. I've been trying to work out all the different directions I can go. Want to play along with me? Great! Why don't we explore some directions with a game of Sam Says? No, not Simon Says. I've never heard of that game. Are you ready? Okay. Sam Says walk forwards. Oops. 
too close, I think. Sam says, walk backwards. Okay, so we're walking backwards. Now stop. Aha! I didn't say Sam says. Sam says, stop. Now Sam says, walk uh, this way. Sam says, walk that way. Now Sam says, reach with your hands up in the sky. Sam says, reach down and touch the ground. So we've gone forwards, backwards, this way, and that way, up and down. Is there another direction we can go in? I know. Sam says, walk around in a circle. Well done. I love to play Sam Says with you, and there'll be more to do soon. Oh, hi there. Oh, don't mind me, I'm, I'm just having a think. <laughs> What am I thinking about? Oh, good question. Well, I was thinking about all the things I've got. I don't mean the toys I've got or, or anything like that. I mean, well, let me show you what I mean. Just gotta give it a shot Cause I can dance And you can dance So come and dance with me And I've got everything I need To dance a French ballet And I've got everything I need To dance all night and day And I've got everything I need To keep the blues away Hi there. <laughs> Won't you play along with me? Oh dear. I have the... I have the... Oh, what are they again? Oh, that's right, I have the hiccups. Thank you. I've had them all morning and I have no idea how to make them go away. I've tried everything. Drinking a glass of water? Holding my breath. And some other things. Nothing works. Hiccups are funny, but only when you hear them, not have them. Wait a second. Here. What if we send the hiccups into this sound jar? Maybe that will take them out of me <laughs> and into this. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> oh, great. What we'll need is a really loud hiccup. <laughs> so I'll need your help. Will you do it? Okay, let's practice. On the count of three, your biggest <laughs> hiccup. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Let's try one more time and hope that we can capture the hiccup in the jar this time. You ready? One, two, three. I think it worked. Well done, everyone. I couldn't have done it without you. 
Hi there, it's time to play a game I like to call Animal Farm. See if you can guess what I am. I'll give you some clues, are you ready? Okay. I come in all shapes and sizes, some big, some small. I have four legs. And if you ask me to sit, I'll sit like this. I have a tail that wags when I'm happy. And I'll pant with my floppy tongue hanging out. I love to play fetch with sticks. And I love to get my belly scratched. This is the sound I make. Ruff, ruff. Have you worked it out yet? That's right, I'm a dog. Good work. Now for your next challenge. Can you pretend to be a dog too? Well, how does a dog move? And what sound does a dog make? Ruff, ruff, ruff. It's so much fun to pretend to be a dog. Keep it up, but don't go away because every day I'm here to play. Play along with Sam. Cuckoo. <laughs> I mean, hi everyone, it's me, Sam. I'm dressed as a cuckoo bird. Cuckoo! Cuckoo clocks are a great way to tell the time because the clock goes cuckoo every hour of the day. Come cuckoo with me. Cuckoo! Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Goes a little bird. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. It may sound absurd. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. And it's always heard every hour of the day. One o'clock the bird goes cuckoo. Two o'clock the bird goes cuckoo, cuckoo. Three o'clock the bird goes cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Every hour of the day. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Goes a little bird cuckoo, cuckoo. cuckoo. It may sound absurd cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. And it's always heard every hour of the day. Four o'clock the bird goes. Five o'clock the bird goes. Six o'clock the bird goes. Every hour of the day. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Goes a little bird. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It may sound absurd. Cuckoo, cuckoo. And it's always heard every hour of the day. Seven o'clock the bird goes. Eight o'clock the bird goes. Nine o'clock the bird goes. Every hour of the day. Cuckoo, cuckoo, goes a little bird. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it may sound absurd. Cuckoo, cuckoo, and it's always heard every hour of the day. Ten o'clock the bird goes. Eleven o'clock the bird goes. Twelve o'clock the bird goes. Every hour of the day. Hello. You can't see me, but I can see you. Can you see where I am? Oh, you found me. Wow, you're really good at this. I'd like to play a game of hide and seek. Will you play along with me? You will. Great. This is going to be so much fun. But watch out. I'm pretty good at hiding around here. Are you ready? OK. You close your eyes and I'll hide. When I count to 10, you try and find me. You ready? Close your eyes. One, two, three. No peeking. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarters, ten. Okay, now open your eyes. Can you find me? No, not there. 
Where else might I be? <laughs> no, not there either. Any ideas? Where am I hiding? Yes, you're right. You found me. Phew, you are good at hide and seek. Hi there. Sam here. I've just been to the shops to buy some delicious food. Would you like to see the kinds of yummy things we can eat? Great. Come and play along with me. A's for the apple hanging on the tree B's for banana that tastes so good to me C's for the cherry that tastes so sweet Oh fruit I love to eat The A, B, C's of eating Some are salty, some are sweet The A, B, C's we need To keep us big and strong A's for asparagus that's so good for me B's for the broccoli that looks just like a tree C's for the carrots that help me to see Oh, vegetables I love to eat The A, B, C's of eating Some are salty, some are sweet The A, B, C's we need To keep us big and strong A's for the apple pie that mum bakes for me B's for the biscuits that are in the pantry C's for the cake that on our birthday we make Oh, these are my favourite treats The A, B, C's of eating Some are salty, some are sweet The A, B, C's we need To keep us big and strong The A, B, C's of eating Some are salty, some are sweet The A, B, C's we need Hi there, Sam here with you, and this is my friend Dinah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Dinah and I do so many things together, because that's what friends do. We play together, laugh together, read together, work together. Well, let us show you. <laughs> Cooking in the kitchen with Dana. Cooking in the kitchen, I know. Cooking in the kitchen with Dana. It's strumming on the old banjo. Sing B, Ba, Fiddly, I ho. B, Ba, Fiddly, I ho. B, Ba, Fiddly, I ho. Strumming on the old banjo. Taking in the garden with Dana. Taking in the garden, I bet. Digging in the garden with Dinah and blowing on the old trumpet. Take me, pa, fiddly eye, be pa, fiddly eye, eddy, 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 be pa, fiddly eye, blowing on the old trumpet. Reading in the library with Dinah, reading in the library at home, reading in the library with Dinah and banging on the old bass drum. Take a boom, boom. Cooking in the kitchen with Dana. Cooking in the kitchen, I know. Cooking in the kitchen with Dana. It's drumming on the old banjo. Sing a beat, pa, fiddly I ho. Beat, pa, fiddly I ho. Beat, pa, fiddly I ho. Drumming on the old banjo. Sing a beat, pa, fiddly I ho. Beat, pa, fiddly I ho. Hi there, it's me Sam here, and I'm wondering what's underneath this cloth? Wow! What do you think this is? It's a sort of shape with three sides. What is the name of a shape with three sides? It's a, I beg your pardon? A, a tri, tri, a triangle, yes you're right, it is a triangle. A triangle's such a fantastic shape. I wonder where else we might find triangles. Here's a clue. What do you think this is? A house, exactly. And this triangle 
is the roof of this house. If you look hard enough, you can see triangles everywhere. everyone, it's me, Sam. I'm wrapping a present for my friend. She's having a big birthday party today. Have you been to a birthday party? There's so much fun. There's party food and games and hats and streamers and balloons. And if it's your birthday, then there's presents. Do you know what it is? How did you know? Well, if it's your birthday today, or someone you know is having a birthday, then happy birthday! Today it's your birthday I hear the birds in the trees all singing along Whoa! Today it's a fun day We'll have fun with your friends all coming along Whoa! There's Grandma and Granddad too with gifts they bring for you Party hats and streamers too There's games up in Yada and a hundred red balloons And we all are singing just for you It's your birthday Happy birthday today It's your birthday It's time for the one minute dance party. Can you do this? Can you do the brilliant ballerina? This is how it goes. You ready? Are you set? It's the one minute dance party. Yeah! And go! Okay, hands on your head. Let's do a pirouette like a ballerina. Oh, you're dancing like a ballerina. Good work. Okay, arabesque. Oh, oh that's hard. Oh, it's tricky. Oh, wow. Okay, point your toes. Hands on your hips. Point your toes. That's it. You're doing it. We're almost halfway there. Keep going. That's the way. And we're going to jump. Bronzete. Great leaps. Pirouette, everybody twirling, twirling like a ballerina. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I think we're almost there. And we point your feet. Oh, wonderful. Give yourselves a big clap. That was the brilliant ballerina. Hi there, Sam here. Do you ever feel like you've run out of things to do or to play with when there's nothing around? Yeah, me too. But whenever I feel like that, I always remember there's one more thing I can do. Do you want to know what it is? 
Well, come and play along. I tap my feet, brush my teeth, cause that is something that I can do. I pat my head, rub my tummy, cause that is something that I can do. And they're the things that make me unique Because there's something that I can do Well, peekaboo, there's you And show us something that you can do You do a leap in the air Cause that is something that you can do It's a thing that makes you unique Because it's something that you can do That we could go forever If you can do it And I can do it Then we all can do it together You're a star on guitar Cause that is something that you can do You kick so high in the sky Cause that is something that you can do It's a thing that makes you unique Because it's something that you can do well, we patted our heads while rubbing our tummies and we jumped up high in the air. Let's try some other things. Can you do this? Can you wave your arms like this? You are, you waving them. Well done. Well, let's try something really hard. Can you, can you do the splits? Oh! There's just so many things that we could go forever. If you can do it, Clap your hands, stamp your feet Cause that is something that you can do We dance ballet and kick up high Cause that is something that we can do I tap my head and run my tongue Because it's something that I can do There are all the things that make us unique Because it's something that we can Something that you can Something that I can do God, I was whistling. Can you whistle? It's very tricky and can take a lot of practice, but here's what you do. You make your lips into an O shape like this, and then you gently blow. <gasps> oh, see, I told you it was hard. Let's try again. You hear that? The birds are chirping back at me. Let's go find them and whistle a song together. Still in 
there. It's time for a game of Sam Says. Are you ready? Okay. Sam Says, touch your head. Good. Now Sam Says, touch your shoulders. Nice. Sam Says, wiggle your fingers. Well done. Now Sam Says, put your hands on your hips. I hope your fingers are still wiggling. Sam says, sway your hips from side to side. Sam says, knock your knees together. Ooh, this is getting tricky. Sam says, wiggle your fingers in the air. Sam says, tap your feet as well. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Doing everything at once. Goodness, this is pretty hard. Fall to the floor. <gasps> no, I didn't say Sam says, but... I need a break. Play along with Sam! I'm making a drum beat. Can you make a drum beat too? First you hit your knees with your hands like this. And then you clap. Then we repeat it over and over. Getting faster and faster. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Yeah! It's me again, Sam! Feeling pretty excited about this shape here. It's round with no corners. Do you know what this shape is? Yes, it's a circle! You can find circles in so many places like... A ball! If you search hard enough, you can find circles all around you. See some circles? I'm gonna go and find some more, but don't go away because every day I'm here to play! Pop, pop. 
I'd like to show you something. It's a wonderful musical instrument called a xylophone. Listen to this. Now I know a little game on the xylophone. Would you like to play along? You would? Great. I'm going to play some notes and you sing them back like this. La, 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 la. You got it? Great. Every time I play a tune, sing it back, okay? Yeah, let's try again. La, 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 la. Excellent. Have you guessed what song I'm playing? That's right, Three Blind Mice. Let's sing the last line together. La 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 la. Well done! Play along with Sam! I'm just checking out my fingers and my toes. Look, <laughs> there's so many things I can do with my ten fingers and my ten toes. Let's see what we can do. Will you play along with me? your feet can you kick a ball can you use a fork to eat i've got ten fingers i've got ten toes i use them every day and everybody knows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i've got ten fingers and ten toes again. Can you comb your hair? Can you dance to the beat? Can you jump up and down? Can you brush your teeth? I've got ten fingers. I've got ten toes. I use them every day. And everybody knows. One, two, three, four, five. your head can you tap your feet can you skip around can you click the beat i've got ten fingers i've got ten toes i use them every day and everybody knows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Fingers and ten toes, let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten fingers and ten toes, now we have reached the end. It's time for today's Letter of the Day. What will today's letter be? Do you know what today's letter is? That's right, it's the letter P. Now, what does the letter P sound like? Oh, P. <laughs> well, I know lots of words that start with P. There's pencil, pancakes, pepper, pigeon, pirate, arg. So many words that start with P. P. What a pleasant letter. It's time to play a game I like to call Animal Farm. See if you can guess what animal I am. I'll give you some clues. Are you ready? OK. I have four legs. I'm white, but sometimes black. And I have a big woolly coat. I like to eat grass. And I live on a farm, so there's plenty for me to eat. And this is the sound I make. Ma, ma, ma. Have you guessed what animal I am? That's right, I'm a sheep. Ah. Good work. Let's all be sheep together. Can you eat the grass? 
And this is the sound you make. You're excellent sheep. Keep it up. Hi everyone, it's me, Sam. I'm getting ready for a concert. I'm going to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on these glasses. I've been tuning them all day. Perfect! I have six glasses, all with different levels of water. The different levels make the glass sound like a different note, like this. You could make your own instrument out of glasses too. Just make sure mum or dad help you because it can be very tricky. Well, I think I'm ready. Let's see how it sounds. Beautiful twinkle twinkle little star. Phew, that took forever. What a great way to end our day of play. Did you have a good time? I'll ask that again. Did you have a good time? You did? Me too. I had so much fun singing. And dancing. I think my favourite part was guessing the sounds in the sound jars. Oh, and the one minute dance parties. What was your favourite part? Yeah, I like that bit too. Well, I'm afraid it's time for me to go. But don't worry, if ever you want to play, there's always a way. Because every day, I'm here to play. But until next time, let's all wave goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you next time. Well, you can clap the beat. Come on, now tap your feet. And dance along with Sam. Your favorite tune to take away the gloom and sing along with Sam. So gather round and give me a hand. So come along and join in my band. Music can make you smile, so come and stay a while and play along with Sam. Play along with Sam. I'm just looking through my sound library for some words but I can't seem to find anything but my alphabet jars. Oh, hang on a minute. I can use the letters from the alphabet to make words. Oh, how exciting! Would you like to spell out a word with me? Great! OK, the letters we have are a D, O and a G. I wonder what they spell. Well, let's have a listen to see if we can figure it out. 
The first letter is a D, which makes a... Duh. A duh sound. Words like dingo and dinner, mmm, they start with a duh sound. I wonder if our word is one of those. Let's try the next one. The O sounds like an... Oh. An O oh sound. Now, what starts with an O? Oh? There's orange, octopus and olive. They all start with an O oh sound. Well, let's try the last one. Now, the G sounds like a... G. A G sound. Like green or, or glad. They start with a G sound. Now, let's put all our letters together and see what word we have. D, O, G. D, O, G. D, O, G. D, O, G. Did you figure out the word? D, O, G. D, O, G. I think I figured it out. Yes! Dog! D, O, G. Spells the word dog. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> I love the sound of a dog barking and I love spelling out new words. Reading's so much fun. Books are full of adventures and wonderful stories. Let's read a book together. I'm reading the book. 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 I get so excited every day when I see a new book come my way. Every story takes me on a ride. Sometimes I want to seek, sometimes I hide. I'm reading the book. 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 the book I'm reading the book Everyone, it's me, Sam, and it's time for us to figure out the letter of the day. Are you ready? Great! All of these words start with today's letter. Arrow. Boo! Alphabet. And it's the first letter of the alphabet too. Applause. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Alarm! Oh, I think I figured it out. Have you? That's right. The letter of the day is... A. What an awesome letter. Thanks for all your help, everyone. Without you, I never would have figured out the letter of the day. But don't go away, because every day, I'm here to play. Hi everyone, it's me, Sam. It's silly story time. We make up a story from three pictures that we find anywhere in the big mystery book. Let's begin. Today, I woke up very early and decided to go to the beach to watch the sunrise. And what happens next? Let's find our first picture. <sighs> What's my first picture? Yes, a red bucket. Well, what can we do with a lovely, shiny red bucket? 
I know. So, when I arrived at the beach, I found a bucket in the sand. A beautiful, big, red, shiny bucket. Now let's choose the next picture for our story. my lucky day. I love bananas. Let's keep going. I was a bit hungry at the beach and I wished I had a banana. And suddenly something appeared in my brand new shiny red bucket. Can you guess what it was? That's right, a banana. But this was not an ordinary bucket. It was a magic bucket. How fantastic. Let's find our last picture. Do you know what that is? Maracas! They make music like this. Okay, let's keep going with our silly story. How can I use the maracas? Ah, yes. I was sitting on the beach, eating my delicious banana from my magic red bucket, wishing I could hear some music. And guess what? A band appeared on the beach playing some wonderful morning music. And I looked into my bucket. And do you know what happened? Yes, some maracas appeared. So I joined the band and I played my maracas. And we made some great music. <laughs> what a great way to start the day. The end. Well, that was so much fun. I wonder what silly story we'll come up with next time. Hi everyone, it's me, Sam. And it's time for us to figure out the letter of the day. Are you ready? Great! All of these words start with today's letter. Kick. Boom. Key. Kangaroo. Boing, boing, and kiss. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Have you? That's right. The letter of the day is K. What a kooky letter. Thanks for all your help, everyone. Without you, I never would have figured out the letter of the day. But don't go away, because every day I'm here to play. Do you like letters? I love letters, especially when you put them together to spell out new words. Would you like to spell a new word with me? Great! OK, the letters we have today are P, I and G. Hmm, now when you put them all together, I wonder what they spell. Let's have a listen and see if we can figure it out together. The first letter is a P, which makes a P. A P sound. Or words like parrot and pineapple. They start with a p sound. I wonder if our word's one of those. Let's try the next one. The I sounds like an e. E sound. Can you think of any words that start with an e sound? How about inside and iguana? They start with an e sound. Well, let's try the last one. The last letter is a G which has a g, g sound. Grumpy and goodbye. They start with a g sound, don't they? Now I wonder what word we spell when we put them all together. P, E, G. P, E, G, P, E, G, P, E, G, P, E, G. Did you figure out the word? P, E, G. I think I figured it out. Yes, pig. Pig spells the word pig. <laughs> I love pigs. They're just so cute and cuddly and pink. Oh, hi everyone. It's me, Sam. And it's time for us to figure out the letter of the day. Are you ready? Great. All of these words start with today's letter. Library. Light, leap, and listen. 
I think I've figured it out. Have you? That's right. The letter of the day is L. What a lively letter. Thanks for all your help, everyone. Without you, I never would have figured out the letter of the day. Greetings to you. Hey, diddle diddle, it's time for the rhyming riddle. Guess the answer true from the rhyme I give to you. Shall we begin? See me up high in the sky. I go high, then low. I come after the rain and put on a colourful show. Like red, yellow, pink, green and blue, you know. What am I? Yes, I'm a rainbow! I saw a beautiful sight right after the rain Grey clouds, they part in the sun and shines again Red, yellow the sky I want to see where it ends before it turns night I will see rainbows 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 up in the sky I will see rainbows 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 every time animals come out to play the sun's coming up. The horses they feed on their hay, the rabbits they jump. It's silly story time. We make up a story from three pictures that we find anywhere in the big mystery book. Let's begin. Hmm. I woke up this morning and I looked out the window and it was raining. So, what happens next? Let's find our first picture. Ooh, an umbrella. Well, that will come in handy. So with my fantastic new umbrella, I went outside to, to splash in the puddles. Well, let's find out our next picture and see where the story will take us. What's this? A trumpet. Well, how can we use a trumpet in the story? Hmm. Oh, I know. So, I was out in the rain, splashing in puddles with my umbrella, when suddenly, my umbrella turns into a... You guessed it, a trumpet. I absolutely love to play the trumpet. But now, I have no umbrella, and this rain is making me very wet. Next picture, ready? What's that? It's a pineapple. Hmm. Well, what can we do with a pineapple in the story? Well, as I was playing my trumpet and getting very wet from the pouring rain, my trumpet got jammed. 
No sound would come out. So I turned it around and looked very closely. And guess what? That's right, a pineapple was stuck in it. How strange. Pineapples have big spiky leaves on them. So I put it on my head and it actually made a very good umbrella. And my trumpet worked again too. So I could play again and stay dry. The end. <laughs> what a silly story. Now I wonder what silly story we'll come up with next time. Let's work out the first letter of these words together. Are you ready? I'm flying around like a plane. Do you know what plane starts with? How about this? Pop. 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 What about pop? Pop. Pop. Maybe it's the letter M. Mmm. Mmm. Wait a minute. I'm not. Mopping. I'm pop popping. <laughs> I think we need some more clues. Painting. That starts with our letter. And so does. Point. I think I've figured it out. Have you? That's right. P P P. The letter of the day is P. Plain. Paint and point. They're all words that start with the letter P. Thanks for all your help. Without you, I never would have figured out the letter of the day. But don't go away, because every day I'm here to play. Okay, we have a C, an A, and a T. Shall we listen to what they sound like? Okay. That's right. The C sounds like a k sound, like like clown or or clever. Let's try the next one. The A sounds like ah. It sounds like ah. Now what starts with an ah? There's apple, ant, animal. They all start with an ah sound. Well, let's try the last one. The T sounds like a T. It sounds like a T sound, like a like a train or a turtle. Now, do you know what word we get if we put the K A T sounds together? Well, let's take a listen. K A T. K A T. K A T. K A T. Could you figure it out? K A T. At, at, at. I think I figured it out. Yes, cat. Cat spells cat. <laughs> meow, meow. I love spelling out new words. It's so much fun. It's silly story time. We make up a story from three pictures that we find anywhere in the big mystery book. Let's begin. I had a ticket to a music concert and I was very excited. I got all dressed up and waited for the bus. When, what happens next? Let's find our first picture. What's our first picture? Oh, look, it's a kite. How wonderful. Well, let's continue our story. Let me think about what we can do with a kite. Hmm. So I was waiting for the bus and what should fly right past me but, you guessed it, a kite! A bright blue paper kite. I caught the kite and was holding the string but the wind was too strong. I started flying up into the sky. Whoa! Let's find our next picture. Ooh, a clock. Well, that might come in handy. Hmm. So I was holding on to the kite, which was flying through the air, and we got higher and higher. I was worried I was going to miss the concert until I looked down and there was a big clock tower. And the clock said, seven o'clock. 
so I was early for the concert. Hooray! Now, how do I get down? Hmm. Well, let's look at our last picture. Ooh, what is it? Yes, it's a whistle. Hmm, how can we use a whistle? I know. I wanted to get back down, so I searched in my pocket. And I found a, what do you think? A whistle. I blew the whistle and some very kind seagulls heard me and flew over the help. They grabbed onto the kite with their beaks and pulled us back down to the ground. Phew. And guess what? I landed right in front of the concert hall, just in time for the music concert, which was wonderful, by the way. The end. Well, that was a silly story. What fun. <laughs> I wonder what we'll come up with next time. Hi everyone, it's me, Sam. It's time for the letter of the day, but I can't seem to remember what it is. Can you help me figure it out? Great! Well, let's work out the first letter of these words together. Are you ready? I can run around and around. What does run start with? How about this? Roar! I can roar like a lion. Roar! Any ideas? Maybe it's the letter P. P, P, P. Wait, did I just say P, P, poor? No, I just did a loud roar, roar, roar. We better keep going. Well, I can do this. I can read, which also starts with that letter. And if I start to rhyme, well, that's even better. Have you guessed our mystery letter? That's right. R, r, r. Ah, the letter of the day is R. Run. Roar. Read. And rhyme. They're all words that start with the letter R. Well, thanks for all your help, everyone. Without you, I never would have figured out the letter of the day. But don't go away, because every day, I'm here to play. Would you like to spell a new word with me? Great! OK, the letters we have today are C, U and P. Hmm. Now, when you put them all together, I wonder what they spell. Well, let's have a listen and see if we can figure it out together. The first letter is a C, which makes a... A K sound. Or words like camera and carrot. They start with a K sound. I wonder if our word's one of those. Let's try the next one. The U sounds like a ah, an ah sound. Can you think of any words that start with a ah sound? How about underwater, up or umbrella? They all start with an ah sound. Let's try the last one. The last letter is a P, which has a P, a P sound. Well, point and pumpkin. They start with a P sound, don't they? Now, I wonder what word we spell when we put them all together. K, A, P. 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 Did you figure out the word? K, A, P. I think I figured it out. Yes! Cup! K-U-P spells the word cup. Woohoo! Just what I need. A lovely cup of cool water. The big mystery book. Let's begin. Today, I wanted to go to the park and feed the ducks. So I got dressed. And what happens next? Well, let's find our first picture. Hmm. Ooh. What's my first picture? You got it. A pineapple. Yum. Well, how can we use a pineapple in our story? I know. So I went to the park 
with my pineapple. And the ducks, well, they don't seem to like pineapple. And then I saw an elephant walking past. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Elephant. <laughs> Which was pretty strange to see an elephant in the park. And he was playing with her. Well, let's find the next picture. <gasps> a tennis ball. Well, that's even stranger. So let me see. I suddenly realised that, well, elephants absolutely, positively love pineapple. So he swapped his tennis ball for my pineapple. Fantastic. Well, I was playing with my tennis ball. The elephant was munching on the pineapple. And then, well, let's find out our last picture. Uh-oh. It's a mouse. Elephants are frightened of mice. Well, let's keep going. The elephant and I were having a lovely time until it started raining mice. Mice were falling from the sky, just like raindrops, except they were going squeak, 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 squeak. It was very odd, and the elephant did not like all the mice, so I had to help him find an enormous tree to hide under until the mouse storm was over. You know, mouse storms are actually quite funny, and the elephant and I started laughing. <laughs> Well, then as fast as it started, the mouse storm ended. So we went back to playing with the tennis ball and eating the pineapple in the sunshine. What a great day. The end. Well, that was a silly story. What fun. Hi, everyone. Wait. Oh, hi, everyone. It's me, Sam. And it's time for us to figure out the letter of the day. Are you ready? Great! All of these words start with today's letter. Yellow. Yow! Yoga. And yawn. <sighs> I think I've figured it out. Have you? That's right! The letter of the day is Y. What a yummy letter. Well, thanks for all your help. Without you, I never would have figured out the letter of the day. But don't go away, because every day, I'm here to play. I'm reading the book. 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 Every story has so much to say. I want to read a new book every day. When that story's coming to an end, I turn it over and just start over again. I'm reading the book. 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 It's that time of year when we're singing and dancing for joy, all filled with cheer. The elves are helping Santa pack his sleigh, all full of toys making sure that he's back in time for Christmas. So help us wrap our presents, decorate the Christmas tree, and come meet the whole family with lots of laughter, gift giving, and just a touch of magic. Merry Christmas, everybody! Well, you can clap the beat. Come on now, tap your feet and dance along with Sam. Your favorite tune to take away the gloom and 
just returned from a super snow-filled sound safari up at the North Pole. There was so much snow up there that I almost turned into a snowman. <laughs> the North Pole is also filled with heaps of amazing sounds, just like this one. Do you want to hear it? Great! <laughs> That's the sound of a pair of polar bears pouncing and playing in the snow. Now, who else lives at the North Pole? I'll give you a hint. He has a big, white, bushy beard. He wears a big, red coat. And he loves to say, ho, 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 ho. Who is it? That's right, Santa Claus. And I'm so excited because tomorrow is Christmas. Whee! And on the Christmas tree, we're hanging decorations. See him fly across the sky and wave to him as he goes by. Santa's coming, the reindeer and his sleigh. Santa's coming, cause it's almost Christmas Day. And everybody let me hear you say, Santa Claus is on his way. I absolutely love Christmas. It's my all-time favourite day of the year. Not only does Santa visit, but you also get to spend time with your family. Unfortunately, my mum and dad are off on a sound safari this year, so they won't be able to make it. But my grand-grand and little brother Cam, they're coming to Christmas lunch, and I'm so excited! Now, so I don't forget anything, I've prepared a little list of all the things I need to get done before they arrive. First, I need to make sure I've got everyone's presents ready. Then I have to set the table. Then I need to decorate the Christmas tree. And lastly, I have to cook a very special family Christmas pie. That's a lot of things to do. I'd better get cracking. Now, the first thing I need to check off my list is... Presents! Now, my little brother Cam just loves the sound of anything that moves. So I got him this great sound of a chugga chugga choo choo train. Hopefully, he's going to love it. Now, my grand grand loves animals, especially super playful animals. And that's why the sound of the pouncing playful polar bears I found will be perfect. <laughs> Hooray! I've gotten all the presents I need for tomorrow. Now I can check the first thing off my list. Do you hear that? That's my xylophone phone! I wonder who it could be. 
Howdy, howdy, hoy, hoy. <laughs> Mum, it's so good to hear from you. Really? Already? Tomorrow? That's great! Oh, oh, okay, I'll see you then. Doodly doo. I've got the most exciting news. My mum and dad have finished their sound safari early and they're going to be back in time for Christmas. I'm just so happy and excited. I... Oh no, I haven't got any presents for them yet. What will I do? Hmm. Will you help me find the perfect presents for them? Great! My mum absolutely loves anything that shines, while my dad is crazy about food. So keep your ears open and maybe we'll find some presents along the way. But the next thing I need to check off my list is... <laughs> setting the table. So off to the dining room we go. Before I can start setting the table, I need to figure out how many people are coming. Now, there was just the three of us at first, my grand-grand, my little brother Cam and me. But now my mum and dad are coming too. Mum, dad. So instead of just three places, I now need to set... One, two, three, four, five. Five! All righty then. I've got everything I need right here. Rectangle placemats, circle plates and triangle napkins. Now I just need to make sure I place them down in the right order. First. We need to put down the rectangle placemat, then the circle plate, and then lastly, the triangle napkin. Fantastic! Our first one is done. Let's keep going. Rectangle placemat, circle plate, and triangle napkin. Yeah! Say it with me. Rectangle, circle, triangle. Rectangle, circle, triangle. We're almost done. <gasps> oh no, I don't have another rectangle. I've only got these three triangles and a circle. What am I going to do? Wait a minute, let me try something. If I take these two triangles and put them together like this, I think... Yes, it makes a rectangle. Now we have our last rectangle placemat. We need to place our circle plate and our triangle napkin. And look at that, the table is set. Perfect. We can now check setting the table off our list. Check. Next on the list is decorating the Christmas tree. But I still haven't found my last two presents. Did you hear any sounds that would make perfect presents for my mum and dad? No, neither did I. But we've still got plenty of time. And then after we find the presents, we get to have heaps of fun wrapping them.
So come on, let's get together. It's the festive thing to do. Rap, we be rap. Just me and you. And the old sing. My Christmas tree? It's tall and green and looks like this. I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> there you are. But why do you look so sad? Is it because you haven't been decorated yet? Well, we'll soon fix that. You know, this is no ordinary Christmas tree. This is a special musical Christmas tree. The only way to decorate it is with some special rhythmic combinations. Will you do them with me? Great! Now remember, I still need to find presents for my mum and dad too. My mum loves anything that shines and dad loves food. So keep your ears open for any sounds that might make perfect presents for them. Okay, to get the tinsel on the tree, we need to make some special sounds. We need to go boing. <laughs> Whee! Can you do that with me? Boing, he, he, wee! Boing, he, he, wee! You're doing great. Keep going. Boing, he, he, wee! What a great start. That tinsel looks amazing. Now it's time for some baubles. To get the baubles to appear, we need to do some more special moves. You need to jump, twist, spin. Are you ready? Jump, twist, spin. Jump, twist, spin. That's it. Let's keep going and cover the tree in baubles. Jump, twist, spin. <laughs> Our Christmas tree is looking fabulous. But it's still missing something. Something sparkly and bright. Yes, it still needs Christmas lights. And of course, a shining, twinkling star on top. Now to get the lights and the star on the tree, we have to combine our sounds and movements together. Boing, he, he, wee! Let's give it a try. Boing, he, he, wee! Boing, he, he, wee! You're really good at this. <laughs> Let's completely brighten up our tree. Boing, he, he, wee! Wow! The Christmas tree looks absolutely amazing! You've got some awesome moves. Great work! We've decorated the Christmas tree now, so we can check it off the list. You can even hear the magical twinkle of the star on top. It's... What's that? The sound of the star! You're right! My mum loves anything that shines. And the sound of the shining, twinkling star, it's the perfect present for her. Got it! It's almost time to go to bed. I've left the milk and cookies out for Santa. And of course, I can't forget Rudolph's Crunchy Carrot. Crunch, 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 crunch. It's so exciting knowing Santa will be here soon. And then tomorrow, all my family will be here too. Oh, I wish it was tomorrow already. I don't know how I'm ever gonna get to sleep tonight. Oh, I hope I haven't forgotten anything.
picking stockings are hung I'm almost ready for the morning to come My mind is racing, hope I didn't forget The milk and cookies on the mantel I care Carrots for the reindeers, presents for friends The mistletoe is hanging from the door it descends The tree is lit and decorations are set This Christmas morning's one we'll never forget Can I be wait? Can I be wait? Can I be wait? Can I be wait? The clock is ticking, the stuff is a hum I'm almost ready for the morning to come My mind is racing, hope I didn't forget The milk and cookies on the mantel I can Carrots for the reindeers, presents for friends Mistletoe is hanging on the door it descends The trees lit, decorations are set This Christmas morning's one we'll never forget Can I be wait? Can I be wait? Can I be wait? Can I be wait? The clock is ticking, the stock is a hum I'm almost ready for the morning to come My mind is racing, hope I didn't forget The milk and cookies on the mantel again Carrots for the reindeers, presents for friends Mistletoe is hanging from the door it descends The trees lit, decorations are set This Christmas morning's one we'll never forget Never forget, never forget Christmas morning's one we'll never forget Santa's been, and he loved all the treats we left out for him. And he even left some presents too. Oh no, presents. I still have to find one more present for my dad. But what else do I have to check off my list? Let's see. I still have to make the Christmas pie. Hmm, now Dad loves anything to do with food, so maybe I'll find something for him along the way. To the kitchen! <laughs> it's time to cook my family's special Christmas pie. Everyone in my family has a favourite ingredient that goes into the pie. Now, I remember most of the ingredients, but sometimes I get a little confused as to who likes what. Like my mum's favourite ingredient, for instance. I remember her saying to me, <coughs> Sam, whenever I take a bite of pie, my favourite bit is the squishy, bendy, yellow fruit inside. Now, which of these is a bendy yellow fruit? It can't be the orange because, well, it's orange. Now, the lemon is yellow, but is it bendy? No, it's round, isn't it? That means that the bendy yellow fruit must be... the banana! Delicious! Now, the second ingredient is cinnamon. <sighs> this is my grand-grand's favourite. She would always say... <coughs> All oh, that fruit is really lovely, Sammy Sam, Sam, Sam. But what really gives the pie a kick is a powerful pinch of cinnamon. This is going to be great. Now, the third ingredient is my little brother Cam's favourite. Chocolate! He'd say... <clears throat> I love the hot, melty chocolate in the Christmas pie because it makes a huge mess. <laughs> There you go, Cam. Only two more ingredients to go. The fourth ingredient is very important. It's my dad's favourite, and he always says to me, <coughs> Sam, the most important thing to remember when making the Christmas pie is the amount of strawberries you put in. Four is not enough, but six is too many. Hmm. How many strawberries do I need, then? It needs to be more than four, 
but less than six. That's right. I need five strawberries. One, two, three, four, five. And the last ingredient is my favourite ingredient. Sultanas or raisins. I just love the sound they make when you shake them in their box. Into the pie you go. Now it's time to mix things up. Now all we need to do is pop on the top and put it in the oven. I'll just set the timer for 10 minutes. And that's another thing to check off my list. Oh no, I was having so much fun making the pie. I forgot to listen out for a present for dad and everyone will be here any. They're here. <laughs> Is that Christmas pie I smell? Dad! Merry Christmas, Sammy. Merry Christmas, Mum. Where's my little Sammy Sam, Sam? I'm right here, Great Grand. Well, oh, Big Go! <laughs> Hi, Big Bro! Hi, little Bro! Yeah! Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Sam. Sam! Well, the Christmas pie is almost ready. Oh, I hope it has just the right amount of strawberries in it. More than four. And less than six. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Oh, you too. <laughs> but before we eat, I'm just too excited for you to open your presents. Damn, open yours first. Is that a train? Cool, I love trains. Thank you so much, Sam. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. It was such a fun present to choo choo choos. <laughs> Grand Grand, open yours next. Whoa. What? Oh, oh, of course. Oh. oh, my goodness. Is this what I think it is? Pouncing playful polar bears. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> and in the snow, too. Oh, I oh. found it on safari when I took only my bear essentials. Oh. <laughs> what? Now your turn, Mum. Oh, Sam. A twinkling Christmas star. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh no, I still haven't found a present for Dad. What am I going to do? <laughs> Pie's ready! <laughs> I just love that sound. It always tells me that food is coming. <laughs> That's it. The sound of the oven timer. It's the perfect present for Dad. <laughs> the presents, set the table, decorate the tree, make the Christmas pie. We've finished the list. Yay! Oh, yum pie! Oh, Ooh, that smells amazing. Divine. The pie is ready. <laughs> and so is your present, Dad. <laughs> I absolutely love it, Sam. <laughs> Whenever I hear it, I'll think about eating our Christmas pie. 
Dad loves his present, and so does everyone else. Amazing. Thank you for all your help. We set the table for five people, decorated the tree, cooked the Christmas pie, and found Mum and Dad the perfect presents. I couldn't have done it without you. Now everyone, let's dig in and have some pie. Hold your horses there, Sammy Sam Sam. Gran Gran is right, Sam. There's still one more present to be given. Really? Well, but everyone's had their present already. Not everyone, Sam. Where did Cam go? Cam! This is for you, Sam. Merry Christmas! Oh, yes, presents. Wow! I love it! Oh, what is it? You have to look inside to find out. I have to look inside. I can't believe it! My very own sound library! There's shelves to keep my jars on. And even mobiles to hang them from the ceiling. This is amazing! I love it! Hey. Now I have somewhere to keep all my wonderful sounds. Thank you all so much. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Sam. Merry Christmas, everyone. And Merry Christmas to you, too. Remember, always keep your ears open because you just never know what you might hear. Ooh, how about a family photo? Santa's coming with the reindeer and his sleigh. Santa's coming because it's almost Christmas Day. And everybody let me hear you say Santa Claus is on his way. And on the Christmas tree, we're hanging decorations. See him fly across the sky and wave to him as he goes by. Santa's coming, the reindeer and his sleigh. Santa's coming, cause it's almost Christmas Day. And everybody let me hear you say, Santa Claus is on his way. Everyone, keep an ear out. If you hear him, let me know. Ho, 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 ho. Did you hear that? I did too. I think it's Santa. Ho, 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 ho. It is. He must be on his way. Let's do it with him. Ho, 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 ho. Everybody let me hear you say Santa Claus on his 